and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. What an incredible clip from Ascend Focus to start us off dominating with a 17 kill shotgun streak on the good old Grand Bazaar. Now sticking with the same map, we've got a clip sent in from Bounty and this one is going to be quite an unusual clip. Now he's got a bunch of enemies in front of him, he sprayed a couple of them down with his AEK and as you can tell they're not really paying too much attention. So he pulls out the defibs and does what anyone would do in this situation and gets himself a big defib flank. Oh my f***ing god, man. What the f***? He did send in two clips. The second one is once again on Grand Bazaar, this time a flank in a slightly different situation, a slightly different position, but again, really entertaining as he just smashes through the enemy back lines. Yeah. Kill all our chance, all our chance. I'm right behind you. Okay, I was defending for a second. Oh my god! Start getting shit pushed in. One of my favourite Battlefield players of all time, as I always go on about, is Rustling Jimmers, and this one is a really nice streak. Around 90 seconds of pure domination. He's going to be taking out some enemy players that are completely unaware, using his knife as you've seen, and his defibs, as you would expect for anyone on a flank against clueless enemies. An awesome clip. Two clips sent in from Matty. The first is something quite unusual. It's an 8v8 clip. So this is one of these scrims where you've got eight players on one side, eight players on the other side there. Really try hunting for a win in a private server with some very strict rules. They're the best players you will find on Battlefield 4 at the minute. You'll probably recognize some of the names, but Matty just destroys them on this flag, getting a top play clip against some of the best players in the game. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Elliot, uh, up as well. More on tunnel. Down, down. The next one is going to be a public streak, so he's not playing on a competitive server at this point, just against usual players like you and me, and he's making us all look like idiots with this Scar H as he just melts everybody in his path right at the end of a match of Operation Locker Conquest. Hey, take it out. A slightly longer clip next from Dusty, playing on Operation Locker, which kind of takes something away from the kill streakers. There are no vehicles to stop you, and it's one of those maps where, if you have a team that's slightly better than the other team, as you can tell, he does, probably down to him being on the team, you do tend to dominate and pin the enemies back onto a single flag, or sometimes even into their base. This, though, is a nice example of how to use the MG4 and that massive magazine, but also how to use your position on the map not having to run around like a maniac instead you can just sit there and wait for the enemies to run past you you know exactly where you're supposed to be you'll see in a second that patience and accuracy are what really make this clip so good
Khan, it's Dexter with a nice clip on Gulen Peak's Battlefield 4 with the Ace 23. Two clips from Black Scorpion. The first is a six man feed with the Gull Magnum sniper rifle on Lumfini Gardens. Second is a really awesome Operation Locker Streak, getting himself the perfect angle there on these players. Two clips from Lackey. The first is a massive sniping streak on Nushar Canals, dropping in above the enemy players. Watch what he does next. And the second clip is once again on Nushar, but he switched out a sniper rifle for the 870 MCS. This shotgun will destroy anyone in close quarters, and he does exactly that with a big flank on the enemy players. Sticking with Battlefield 3 for yet another clip, it's One Happy Beacon, a TDM streak on Nushar Canals, perhaps the best TDM map in the Battlefield franchise, and if you just get in the right position, you can start off a perfect streak as he does, and then he goes on a bit of a rampage around the side of the map. I Pro Zombie 81 is next, an Operation Locker clip. He's on a massive flank using the 12G. Finally today, a clip from Sario playing on Battlefield 4 Flood Zone. This one is a really nice push, albeit off an objective because he is on rush and as you know on Flood Zone the objectives can be in really weird positions. He has to clear out though this car park so his team can push up and get a nice stronghold to then push onto those objectives. He does exactly that with the L85A2 and his G18.
thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like down below. You can send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com and you can find the links for all the players in this episode down below in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.